Hi, and welcome back. I just picked up a Pyramid Regulated Linear Power Supply. Um, this particular one can put, it puts out 13.8 volts DC, um, a constant 12 amps, and it can surge to 14 amps. And it also can um, handle 270 watts. And the reason I replaced it, prior to this, I was using a, uh, this particular one here is a switching power supply, and it puts out 12 volts, and it can handle um, up to 3 amps. And the trouble with this one is um, I wanted to have, I wanted, I wanted to have a power supply that puts out 13.8 volts. And the reason for that, I notice on my CB radio here, when I would broadcast, when I would transmit the meter here, the SWR power meter would dim. So I was thinking it's probably not getting the correct amount of volts to it. Now, as you see, when I turn it on here, and go over to the CB, turn it on. And now when I key the mic, test one, two, three, test one, two, three, you can see that the meter stays bright and doesn't dim at all. If you look at some of my old videos where I do the skip, you can see it dim when I key the mic. All right, I've hooked up a voltmeter to it. And you can see that it's putting out a steady 13.8. And if we go over to the CB, turn it on, we are still getting a 13.8. If we key in on the mic, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. We can see that it's, um, it looks like it dipped down to 13.6, but it's, it's holding pretty steady. Now, if we look at my TRC-465 here, we can see it's putting out, it's receiving 12, 12.1. Now, if we go and turn it on, okay, it's still holding steady, but if we key the mic, test one, two, three, test one, two, three, we see that it drops down to about 11.8, which, in my opinion, um, it's just not efficient for um, the radio to be using that little of voltage. Probably one of the biggest considerations when I was looking for power supplies was the RF noise that is generated. Now, the old, um, the old one I was using before that was only putting out 12 volts, it, it was pretty quiet on RF noise, but like I said, it just wasn't putting out the voltage that I wanted. And I, I have a lot of old power supplies at home from computers and, and other devices. And most of the other ones put out quite a bit of RF noise. And I actually bought, a, bought another uh, power supply on Amazon that was advertised and had a auxiliary socket to plug into, but it was very noisy. It wasn't very expensive either, so I guess you get what you pay for. But as you look on here, when I turn on the radio, you can see that there's um, very little noise. The meter's almost all the way down. So, all in all, um, I would highly recommend this power supply. I know I haven't had it very long, but my initial, initial inspection and use of this, um, I'm pretty happy with it. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think it lists for around $70, $69.99. And I, I always look at the warehouse deals and um, I look at ones that are maybe damaged packaging or returned, which this one was. It was listed in very like new condition, which it was. Um, it was still in the original packaging, the shrink wrap. So I think I ended up getting it for around $54. So that was a pretty good savings. Um, kind of hit and miss on the warehouse deals. I've had items 
that I've had the return that didn't work. Uh, this speaker here I bought, I think I got it for around $10 off the normal price. And it was like new, but uh, it didn't have the bracket on the side. It didn't mention that, but I just have it sitting here anyway, so I don't mind. But um, this one works perfectly well. So there you have it. That's my review of the Pyramid Regulated 12-amp um, power supply. Thanks for watching.